My next guest makes his UFC debut coming up here against Ji Li Ling at coming up here at UFC Fight Night 111 on June 17th. Frank Camacho joins me here on the program for the very first time. Frank, how are you? Hot today, man. Man, it's so um, um, it's, a, it's a pleasure and an honor to be on the show. Thanks for having me. I'm super excited. No problem. I'm glad to have you here, man. And uh, just give my audience some context here. Right now in Toronto, Canada, it is 8.18 p.m. What time is it where you're at right now? Let me check. Uh, it is right now. It is 10.18 a.m. on uh, Friday. Friday. So, like, wow. So you're, yeah, so you're a day ahead of me. That's crazy. In the future. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so you, t- tell me the lottery numbers so I can go and uh, buy them or something, you know? <laughs> right. No, I'm kidding. Uh, let's talk about this UFC contract, man. First off, congratulations. Um, how did this all come together? And was this kind of out of left field or were you expecting this? Uh, so man, my manager, um, Jason house, uh, man, he, I signed, I signed with Viridium sports for about, about a year now, I think, or about less, less than a year. And, and man, this guy, Jason has just been, he's been pushing my name and pushing my name. And I really just can't, I, I, I can't thank him, thank him enough. You know, um, you know, coming from a small Island, man, we, we have, you know, there's a lot of events in, in this region, but at the same time, it's kind of hard to be seen and it's hard to kind of get pushed out. So, so meeting up with Jason and, and uh, him really pushing my name, you know, he, uh, I guess there was like a last minute replacement call. Uh, uh, Jing Yang's uh, opponent got injured and they were like, hey, Frank, you want to, man, uh, how do you feel, man? Congratulations on your last fight. I'm like, feel great. Uh, you Man, you want to take a last minute fight? I'm like, shoot, heck yeah. I'm like, where? In the UFC? And I'm like, dude, heck yeah. When is it? And they're like in uh, two weeks, I'm like, dude, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, opportunity of a lifetime, and man, here I am. Yeah, it, it kind of came together pretty quickly. Uh, who's the first person you told when you found out the news? Oh, of course, I told my wife. She was the okay, first. Okay, I was going to say you'd probably lose some points for that if you didn't tell her right, right off the bat. Oh, right? No, 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 yeah, dude, I, I would be sleeping outside right now if I did it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but uh, yes, yeah, so I, I told my wife, and you know, she she's been on this journey with me for since ever since, you know, and and she was the first person that I told. Uh, it was. I, Man, I totally forgot. I think it was like two in the morning or something, and I was just up and I was like, "Okay, I'm just waiting, uh, waiting, waiting on Jason to to get back at me." And then, uh, you know, from there it just took off and told my wife, told my parents, and you know, just a couple of, couple of my friends before the the official the official um confirmation, you know. So, man, the past few days I've honestly just been scrambling around, just getting medicals and 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 just the whole shabam, you know. So now that I'm all cleared, all good to go, whew, it's 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 time. Now, people may or may not remember, you were actually on season 16 of The Ultimate Fighter. You fought Neil Magny. Um, what was that experience like for you? So, you know, so a lot of people, uh, you know, when I, whenever I think of The Ultimate Fighter and, and, and I think about now, uh, been very rare people get second chances, you know. And uh, you know, that was that was my opportunity. That was the fight of my life, you know, going into the uh, the house. Just, I think it was, it was at Mandalay Bay. I'm not too sure. I, I, I believe so, Mandalay. yeah. Yeah, we, we we fought, and I just remember walking out and looking and seeing like the 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 posters of Tito Ortiz and and uh, and Vitor Belfort, and I was just like, wow, man, this thing is real, and there's just the production, and I was just really living in the moment, man, and uh, and I fought a tough fight against Neil. I learned so much in that fight, uh, man. I just went I went ham the first round, and I was just like, dude, I'm gonna Dana White's watching, I'm gonna show these guys, and next thing you know, second round, I was just like, oh my god, I'm freaking tired, and then third round, I just. <laughs> I just blew my wad and I just got my ass beat by uh, by Neil Magny. But it was it was a definitely a well needed experience for the results that's going to be coming forward for for me in the future. Do you still keep in touch with anyone from that cast? Uh you know, no. I oh, you know, the only one that I really do and I really have been was is George Lockhart. Oh no um, way! Okay, George, cool. Yeah, George George Lockhart was on that was on the um on the cast. And we've been friends and been training partners since man two thousand eight. When he was out in Virginia, I'm not too sure where he's at now, but I actually just just got in contact with him, and he's helping me out with, uh, you know, he runs Fitness VT. And, I was going to uh, say, man, with the weight cut, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that guy is a wizard, and, and man, I just ate a really good meal. I'm like, how the heck am I still losing weight? <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. How is the weight right now? Because, again, this was short notice. Everything on point? Man, everything's on point. You know, so, man, James, uh, it's, actually, it's actually really, really cool, the situation, because I just came off of a fight, and... Uh, I just came off of a fight, no injuries, no just little little tweaks here and there, uh, and my I'm in decent fight shape. I'm in decent fight shape. My weight is good, I, dude. I'm only like maybe, maybe seven pounds off. No way! Oh, that's great, yeah. man. It's feel. I mean, I feel great. So, 
uh, I'm I'm decent. I'm in decent fight shape. I'm I'm on way. So now it's really the hard part of the camp is done. You know, the hard part of the camp, and it's really just getting the call. And it's time to do the fun stuff and what I really love to do. You know, and what everyone, all the fighters love to do. If we could just go in there and fight, man, that would just be great. Yeah, absolutely. And, 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 you know, amidst all this chaos of, you know, getting things booked at the last minute and everything, uh, have you had a chance to kind of assess your opponent, kind of know, uh, you know, how you sort of match up against him? Um, man, so, so Lee, is it Lee or Lai? Yeah, it's, Lai? it's Lee. Lee, I believe. Yeah. Lee, yeah, Lee. So, you know, the crazy thing is, is I've been watching him since he, uh, I, I forgot who he fought. Uh, uh, Lima, the, the current Bellator champ. Oh, oh, um, uh, uh, would have been his brother, Doug, uh, Diego Lima when he fought him. Oh yeah, yeah, his brother, his brother, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so I, I just remember seeing this guy because you know I was like, oh wow, China man, China's coming back in the cut, you know, and it was like the Ultimate Fighter, and I've been watching him since ever since, and dude, he's always been, uh, he's always, he's never been in a boring fight, and I, you know, I've, I've just been a fan, and I've been watching him, so it kind of all works out, you know, and. And I'm kind of, kind of stoked that uh, the matchup works out this way. You know what I mean? It really, really works well with my, with my style. And um, and I don't really, I don't think it's going to be a boring fight. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was going to ask you, how do you sort of see this unfolding? Because you know, you've been getting a lot of finishes in your last couple fights, and he's the same sort of way. I mean, are you expecting this to go to the distance? Because you're, you're a tough guy to finish. Yeah, you know, so man, if it, if it goes to the distance, then it's going to be one heck of a fight. Uh, what I love about Lee is that uh, he. And he's he's trying to finish guys, you know. We're not trying to go to decision. Same with me, man. Man, if I could if I could finish the fight in in three minutes, why go the whole fifteen, you know? And uh, I just think the styles are just gonna be it's it, it's it's gonna be good. Um, yeah. What you got a prediction? How how you see this fight ending? Man, you know I I just feel that I'm I'm I'm, I'm of course, man. I feel cleaner, and I feel I have the I have I have the skill set to to really expose his weaknesses. Um, and I, I, of course, man, I see myself winning. Um, he is though very, very tough and he is seasoned and he is a vet. So, you know, I, I, am not going to shadow my conf. I'm not going to shadow that with, with my confidence, you know, I'm just going to go in there and I got to just implement. And at the end of the day, you know, James, I was just thinking, I was, I was talking to my coaches, right. And, um, and, you know, visualizing and, and, and the mental game of the fight is always the best is always crucial to, to winning fights, you know, and, and I, we always go over the perfect fight, how, you know, the combinations that we're going to throw and, how, and what we're going to counter. But at the end of the day, man, our styles, the way our styles work out when, when we, uh, when leather starts flying, <laughs> we're just going to try to finish each other, you know? So um, that's what I'm really, really stoked about. And who are some of your main training partners helping you get ready for this fight? So I train, I'm, I'm based out of Guam. So I train at, uh, Purebred Jiu Jitsu, so man, I have a lot of. There's a like two world champions in Jiu Jitsu, and then uh, at Spike Twenty Two, um, Steel Athletics. I just got man guys that are on on the on the upcoming. You know, we have uh, like JJ Ambrose. You know, he he's former Bellator fighter, and That's and right, yeah. uh, Rookie Martinez, Kyle Uggen. Man, just a lot of a lot of guys that are still under the radar, just trying to break through. You know, and um, yeah. For man, for years too, I was I was living out in the states. I was living, I was training at Team Lloyd Irvin for a minute, and and at Alliance MMA. So, uh, man, all those guys out there have been been having good connects and training with them for years. And now I'm back home, and and nothing like nothing like being back home. Yeah, especially with that weather, it's looking nice out there right now. Oh yeah, dude, we get like it's like 80, 80 all year, eighty degrees all year. That's awesome. Yeah, about That's about three hundred, about three hundred and thirty, uh, cool, clean sunsets. You know, on a on a on a yearly. <laughs> not, not not too shabby. Last question for you here, the most important one. What do you like doing on your downtime? You're a family guy. That's obvious. Great weather out in Guam, like you mentioned. I imagine you're getting outdoors, doing lots of that stuff. What would I find you doing when you're not training? You know, I'm at the beach, barbecuing. Uh, not much to do really on an island, but hang out with family, friends, barbecue, train. Yeah, we just, that's how it is. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. Simple life, but a fun life. I like it. Yeah, uh, very simple, very simple, man. Just keep it keep it real. Well, Frank, congratulations again on the UFC contract. I can't wait for this matchup. Uh, UFC Fight Night 111 is coming up here on June 17th. Just to remind my audience where they can get a hold of you on social media, and if you got any thank yous or shout outs, the floor is yours, man. Oh, man, thank you, man. Thank you, everyone, for, for tuning in. Uh, man, just check me out on Instagram at Frank the Crank, uh, on Twitter, Crank Effect, and you can just search me on, on Facebook at uh, Frank the Crank Camacho. Uh, crankeffect.com is my website. So, man, just, just stay tuned. Show me some love. Uh, hit me up. And, and, and really just want to thank everyone um, in, in, in the Mariana Islands. You know, this is, this is really, truly, like, 
you know, I, I don't say I made it, you know, we, we made it, you know, and uh, from the, the handshakes at, at the store to the pat on the backs after, you know, good, uh, like, you know, wins and losses, just thanks to everyone and everyone that's been a part of me on this, on this journey. And uh, man, thank you, James, man, for, for, for taking the time of your day to, you know, get this in.